Good morning. It is Wednesday, March 8th, and this is my second drive with FSD Beta V11.3.1. Uh, my first drive was pretty darn good, to be honest with you. The highway portions were really good. Didn't really notice much change in the city side, um, but it was very short, so can't confirm that quite yet. But anyways, I'm going to do this drive uh, and try not to talk a ton and just record it end to end without any fast forwarding just to kind of show you guys where things are at with V11. So without further ado, let's go for a drive. So this is a pretty short drive, about 15 minutes total, mostly highway, um, but uh, there there is obviously some city streets portions at the front of this drive and at the end of it as well. So. A little bit of hesitation even though it's clear on the left. So you can see it still hesitates quite a bit. So the hesitation, I would say, at stop signs is still, depending on the intersection, of course, still there. Um, clear conditions too, you know, it needs to be much more aggressive, I feel like, if you're gonna, you know, integrate with human drivers. So I'll report that one. I've um, been trying to report everything that I see that I'm not happy with. Um, I know I'm nitpicking at some cases, but you know, the only way it's gonna get better is if, you know, you send them data and hope that they uh, fix these issues in future releases, so. Good job with that turn. Again, pretty slow. It's been pretty conservative so far. Um, not unexpected to be honest with you, but. Um, All right, good job getting over to the far right lane because we're gonna be entering the freeway here shortly and we need to be in this lane to do that, so. Okay. A little bit of rolling, a little choppiness there on the throttle again. I'm not a big fan of that. When it, when it decides to go, it just needs to go. I mean, as you can see there, it was clear again. So, you know, of all the behavior that I've seen FSD Beta exhibit, the stopping and of the throttle, you know, chopping of the throttle and, you know, hesitancy when it's like midway through a turn is super annoying. That's something that still needs to be fixed and looks like it's still there in V11, which, again, is not surprising. The big news about V11, of course, was the full self-driving highway portion that they added, which basically they merged the stacks now together. So you have, you know, highway and city now running off essentially the same stop or stack. Versus before, we were basically using legacy autopilot code. They obviously updated a little bit with to work with vision only, but it, for the most part, the logic and everything was pretty much the same. So um, you can see the lane changes are much faster now. Um, honestly, that's one of the biggest things that I've appreciated so far with V11. No more waiting five total seconds after you initiate a turn signal or an intent to change lanes. Does it wait? It doesn't do that anymore. It signals and maybe a second or so later it goes. It's the way it should be all along. Um, and that is much more human-like. So when you experience more congestion, this code will definitely perform a lot better and integrate with human drivers uh, much more efficiently. going to be getting out of the fast lane here. It seems to like to hang out in the left lane quite a bit, so I'm just nudging it over here to not block people that are going faster than me.
a little bit of hesitancy there too. You can see again the uh, the lane changing there still is a little too slow. That guy behind us was probably a car length or so away. Um, not sure why I did the forward collision warning there. That was kind of annoying, but. Um, the car that was behind us that I was trying to cut in front of, um, he was maybe two car lengths behind us, and the car still did not want to get over. So, you know, again, spatial awareness around the car needs some fine tuning. It seems like Tesla is being very cautious in this initial version 11 build. It seems to want to keep two car lengths front and back, um, which is fine for now, but that's something that definitely needs re refinement further. So, hopefully, we'll see that in future V11 builds. One thing that's always fun about 169 North here is that it's there's a very high speed differential between the right and left lane, as you can see. So it makes it really fun to just, if you want to go nine over, there's either 20 over on the left lane or there's five under on the right side. So <laughs> it always makes it fun to drive on this road. So it seems like it, it, when it needs to get over, it does relax a little bit on keeping that two car length distance between front and back um, around traffic. So it's good to see it be you know, assertive enough, especially when there's not much room left to get over and make that uh, final lane change to exit for uh, 169 there. So um, you know, that's good to see. I wish it would be a little more assertive in other spots like that. The one disengagement we had back there um, where it would have, we had room to get over to the left. It just was very hesitant to do so. That caused some issues there. Otherwise, this would have been a zero disengagement drive so far. So.
interesting there. It canceled the lane change when it saw the, the merge here. I would like to see it keep that turn signal on. You know, it, whenever it makes a lane change like that, I wish it would do that. So um, that's something that's still quite not there yet. And we'll be exiting here, 494 here in just a little bit, uh, about 0.1 miles up the head here. And then we'll be just doing city street portion for the rest of this drive to my company's office. Very natural behavior when, with the slowdown here. It's doing a great job gradually slowing down and not making big abrupt changes to speed. So that's definitely an improvement in version 11 so far. So for me, version 10 did a really poor job of slowing down from, from when you're going, you know, I'd say any, anywhere above 30 miles an hour or up. When it had to slow down to make a turn, it... Sorry about that. My camera died there. It's like the worst possible time. So anyways, um, what I was saying was version 10 did a really poor job of slowing down for turns when you were doing about 30 miles an hour above it would be very you know rough around the edges in terms of how it would slow down it's very smooth now so from what i can see so far um, getting closer to being human like i'd say much more much more in that direction little bit of slowing there uh, at that fork even though there was no car next to us on our left so I'm going to report that um, pretty minor Again, it wasn't abrupt or anything I've not had any hard braking events with version 11 yet so that's been really good and then we got our final turn in my company's parking lot here I want to see how it does we're doing about 34 miles an hour now okay interesting behavior there and we're kind of stopping short here and not entering the driveway so um, some changes I'd like to see there, you know, it, it initially did the right thing. It actually moved over within the lane to the right, signaled early as it slowed down. Um, but it needs to keep that turn signal on, you know, um, that'd be my only, only thing. Obviously turning right into the parking lot would be nice too, but it got us here for all intents and purposes. So one disengagement, otherwise, honestly, a pretty good drive. The highway portion, again, I think overall is an improvement. They can definitely make the spatial awareness a bit more... Um, aggressive in how it wants to control you know lane changes and when it will go and when it will wait um, that needs some refinement but again this is pretty much a, a version one of v11 you know for public users so i i expect them to be cautious initially and then make it more aggressive as they up their confidence so anyways thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one